Hola. How are you guys doing? Everything good? I hope you guys are doing great. Today, as you can see, I'm not in my house. I'm at school because I'm cleaning the classroom and I'm cleaning school for the next year. So when you guys come back, you have a clean and great school. Now, let's start with math. And today is Friday, May 15 of 2020. And then the first part that we're going to do today, we're going to divide a shape into four equal parts. That means that you need to divide the shape into fours, okay? I'm doing the rectangle, but you are doing a doot, this shape, a circle. That's your job. My job is a rectangle, your job is a circle. Then we're going to solve this word problem with these numbers. After that, you are going to make your own word problem with a different numbers, okay guys? Let's start with shapes. Now, when we have a rectangle, just imagine you're creating a cake and you have four people in your birthday party. And that birthday party, you're going to divide the cake into four equal parts. Let's say I have Miss Bernal, Mr. Hernandez, Miss Berwick, and Miss Martinez. We are all four celebrating my birthday and I'm going to share equally, okay? Because when I cut equal parts, we need to be measured equally. So I go from the half. Now I have two equal parts and I need to go the other way across. And now I have four equal parts, four equal parts. This means this is one, fourth, or you can write it like this, un cuarto, un cuarto, one fourth, one quarter. You're doing the same thing, but you're doing it with a different type of cake. Your cake is a circular cake, it's a circle. So I want you to do the same work with a circle. Now, let's go to the word problem. The word problem says, here says, Trevor has three shelves of books. You guys know what a shelf is? It's un estante, un lugar donde guarda los libros. Trevor has three shelves of books. Each shelf, cada estante, has five books on it. Así que, él tiene tres lugares donde guarda libros. Y cada lugar tiene cinco libros, cada uno. So the question is, how many books does Trevor have? Vamos a hacer dibujos. Let's make a drawing about this story. So Trevor, he has three shelves. Tiene tres lugares donde guarda los libros. So, we have a one shelf here, another shelf, and another shelf. Tres estantes. This means that on each shelf, he has five books. Voy a dibujar cinco libros adentro de cada estante. So we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and five, one, two, three, four, and five. So each shelf has three, sorry, each shelf has five books. And how many shelves do we have? We have three books. So this means that this is a multiplication word problem. So the way that we need to do it is this way. We need to multiply three times five. Three times five. And we need to remember this. So this means we are adding three, how many times? Five times. Or we can do it like this, five times three, that means that we're adding five, three times. And it should look like this. Three times five is three plus three plus three plus three plus three. Plus three. Cinco versus tres. And then five times three means five plus five plus five. 
okay? So this means that we need to multiply all of this multiplication, we need to add this one. If you remember this, this is repeated addition. I hope you guys remember that. Repeated addition. Sumas repetidas del mismo número. Estamos sumando tres, cinco veces. Tres por cinco. O cinco, tres veces. Cinco por tres. And if you find the answer, we have three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Then we have five, ten, fifteen. So the answer is, how many books Trevor has? Trevor has 15 books. Okay? And you're going to be doing this same thing, but with different numbers. The one thing you are doing, let me get the eraser. So you're doing a different number. The number that you're doing are not three, not tres, and not five, I want you to do, I want you to do, Trevor has two shelf of books, each shelf has 10 books on it. How many books does Trevor have? Así que, tu dibujo tiene que verse diferente. Aquí dice tres por cinco, pero aquí estamos hablando de dos y de diez. ¿Entendimos? Ese es tu trabajo. Espero verlos, eh, su trabajo pronto. Nos vemos el lunes. Adiós. Bye.